Microplastics. They're tiny pieces of plastic that come from both making commercial products and breaking down bigger pieces of plastic. Officially, they're any plastics with a width of less than 5 millimeters or 0.2 inches. The trouble with microplastics is that, like all plastics, they don't break down easily into harmless molecules. Plastics can take hundreds or thousands of years to break down, and in the meantime, they could cause some damage. Just imagine all these tiny pieces of plastic in the sand on beaches or in your stomach. Primary microplastics are small pieces made for commercial use, like cosmetics, and microfibers that come off of clothes or other textiles, kind of like fishing nets or those rags that you dry your car with. Secondary microplastics are small pieces of plastic that are made when bigger pieces of plastic like water bottles break down. In March 2022, scientists found microplastics in the blood of almost 80% of the people that they tested. This was the first time the microplastics have been found in human blood. The study showed that particles can move around the body and they may get stuck in organs. We don't yet know what happens to people's health because of it, though. Researchers are concerned because microplastics damage human cells in the lab. And it's already known that air pollution particles get into the body and they cause millions of people to die sooner than they need to every year. It was already known that people eat and drink the tiny particles as well as breathe them in. They've been found inside of the poop of both babies and grown people. Scientists looked at the blood samples from 22 unidentified healthy adult donors and found pieces of plastic in 17 of the samples. Half of the samples were made of PET plastic, which is often found in bottles that we drink from. A third of the samples were made of styrofoam and a quarter of the blood samples had polyethylene in them. That's the same kind of plastic that's used to not only make shopping bags, but cosmetics. Cosmetics contain polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene, expanded polystyrene, and urethane polyester. Those are the plastics most commonly used in the productions of cosmetics, as well as food packaging. So it isn't just only your shopping bags. These plastic bits are added on purpose to cosmetics like lip gloss, lipstick, and nail polish, even eye makeup. And it makes them feel and look better. They're shiny. They're glossy. They look fun. They're also added on purpose to personal care products like face scrubs, toothpaste, and shower gels to help clean and exfoliate the human body. Plastic particles are added to cosmetics for a lot of different reasons, of course like we talked about the smooth texture, but they also act as a filler. Interesting. In exfoliating products like face scrubs and body washes, plastic particles are used to help remove dead skin. And when these tiny pieces of plastic are washed away, they just go straight to the sewer. They can end up in sewer sludge from wastewater treatment plants, which is then used to fertilize farmland, or in cleaned water that's released back to the waterways. There's also tiny pieces of plastic in the air, believe it or not. Researchers in Paris looked at how much microplastic was in the air outside and found that there were between 3 and 15 bits per cubic meter. It may turn out that particles in the air are more dangerous than those in food. In 2018, a study compared the amount of microplastics in mussels caught off the coast of Scotland to the amount of microplastics in the air inside people's homes. And the risk of getting microplastics from the air while eating was much higher than the risk of getting them just from the mussels. Researchers are also trying to figure out nanoplastics. Those are pieces that are really, really tiny, less than one micrometer long. In the lab, microplastics have been shown to harm human cells in really bad ways, causing allergic responses and in some cases killing cells. There haven't been any epidemiologic studies that show a link between exposure of microplastics and health effects in a large group of people, though. Time will tell, as this topic is continued to be studied. These are Interesting Things with J.C.